hello good morning welcome to my channel my name is jessica rovira aka beloved j i'm here to bring you a love read for all of you soulmates twin flames um lovers out there that are just needing some guidance along your journey i'm here just to confirm your own intuition i'm not here to tell you anything that you don't already know. Um, I like to tap into the energies of the Holy Spirit. I communicate with the Holy Spirit and bring down guidance and information that the Holy Spirit is relaying to me. Um, I work with the white light only. Um, and whatever information comes up is what is needed to is the most apparent message for the moment time is fluid so whenever this moment reach, reaches you is when it's meant for you if you're new to my channel welcome to my channel and don't forget to like share and subscribe and for those of you who are returning thanks for your support and continuously sharing your time and love with my channel and yeah, I, if I say he or she, I'm specifically talking about masculine and feminine energies. We all have both and our life's journey is learning how to balance out both of our masculine and feminine energies from within so that way we can, um, it, it's about learning ourselves energetically on a masculine and feminine level so that way we can have this balance between both and we're not you know masculine being let's say action feminine being um, passive right patient so there's like this fine line in life that we are meant to balance out those energies right but in reality um, if you are vibing on a frequency of love everything will fall into play I believe that there is only love and light and everything else is created by the mind is created by man which truly does not exist so in my world i only subscribe to love um i like to delete fear and any kind of lower vibration and any kind of lower thought um, that is my work. I unsubscribe. I delete, 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 unsubscribe to anything that is not love. So take a deep breath, close your eyes. I'm going to open up with some sound healing. with our monology cards which is gonna kind of just <clears throat> set the tone for the reading for you and your person whoever it is that is in your energy that you may be thinking about crushing on or loving on <laughs> um, keep in mind that energies can be flip-flopped so um, I'm gonna get into the energies of you and your person but if you are relating more with one side or the other it doesn't matter if I'm saying it's you or not so just take what resonates like I said I should just be confirming something that you've already been feeling expect powerful change new moon eclipse beautiful I wonder if there's an eclipse on the new moon on the fourth hmm curiosity I mean I, I feel like there is but I haven't really been keeping up with it so <clears throat> um, expect powerful change you know new moons are all about new beginnings and manifesting 
your intentions, like setting intentions for the for the moon cycle, right? So it's about setting in positive intention, new intentions, planting seeds. And then the eclipse is just super powerfully and charged. <laughs> it's a super, super powerful charge energy, the fact that it's in the eclipse. And, you know, as lovers, I've always thought that the sun and the moon were in love and that it's like this constant chase of them, you know, like it's like they devoted themselves to earth or and to you know life right and um to be there as our guides right the sun and the moon but like they're lovers and they don't ever really get to see each other other than during eclipse seasons um during eclipses because they're you know that's when they actually meet and they get to like be united and so it's like doesn't happen very often and and so they you know they whatever um <laughs> there's just this feeling that like there's this deep sense of love that is needed in order to be able to allow um that kind of space in between you know a a, a connection right so maybe that's kind of like the energies of this of this connection where it's like maybe you only see each other every once in a blue moon every once in a while like the eclipses like the sun and the moon do and um and it's a great sacrifice for you to not be with your person right because there is a deep love and connection there but it's for a purpose right and so maybe there has been previous activity between you and your person during eclipse seasons. Like maybe there was, the, it, it heightens the energy between you and your person. Maybe it actually brings you guys together. If you aren't, um, aren't together and you are maybe like separate and uh, like long distance or something, or maybe just in separation, maybe, you know, the moon cycles tend to bring you guys back together. I don't know. Anyways, just feeling that. So expect powerful change. Something is changing. Let's get to energies of your person with the Halloween Oracle. Um, what is the energies of your person? Hearth. Happiness is our hearts and homes. So right away, I feel like um, your person um, feels at home in your heart. Um, you make them feel like home. And then your energies. And so like I said, this could be a relationship that maybe you guys don't see each other very often, but like home is where the heart is and you are this person's home. They feel like you are their home. And maybe right now it's just in their heart, right? Um, that they're feeling this sense of um, belonging. Maybe you guys aren't physically together. Your person, I mean you, your energies. But there's a change about to happen. So if you're not together, this makes me feel like maybe the new moon is gonna bring some kind of communication or meeting or surprise, change as something maybe closing out in order for a new beginning to have space to grow. All right, your energies. Your energies, thank you. Graveyard, unnecessary fear. It's time to put a rest to fear. What is it that you're fearing? What do you fear the most? Write it down, burn it. What you fear the most will appear. What you fear is what you will be faced with because life is about facing that fear. It's just an illusion. 
Use the I do not subscribe method. Use the delete button method. Imagine a very huge delete button. Fear arises and it makes your mind wander. Delete, 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 delete until you're able to replace it with a new positive thought, right? Where fear exists, love cannot. So if you are in fear, you are blocking yourself to love. There's a lot of fear in this connection. We're going to find out why. All right. The energies um, that connect you. This is the twin flame. Live tarot, oracle. Energies that are connecting you and your person. You don't have to associate with a twin flame in order for this reading to resonate. You don't even have to know what a twin flame is in order for it to resonate. Get Labels are just labels. There's... It's just a label. So... What is it that connects these two at the heart center? Divine timing, patience, perseverance, peace. Trust that divine knows when, that the divine knows when. 100% divine timing is this moon eclipse. Denial, repressed emotions, rejection, unable to see below the surface. So maybe somebody's dying the, denying the connection and that's why it's bringing fear up for you. Maybe you're in fear and you're denying the connection or maybe your person's denying the connection and so it's bringing fear up in your heart. Um... Get an outcome. Abandoned, lonely, lost. The divine is with you. Fertility, fresh ideas manifest, growth, plant your seeds. All right. I feel like this is a connection that um, you're in separation. <laughs> This is a, a connection where you guys are not together. Um, and it looks like the outcome is going to still be that you're alone. And I think that it is because there is a necessary fear in this connection. Um, you know, maybe your person is still trying to find themselves and still doesn't really truly know themselves or love themselves. And so they're on a soul journey. And if they haven't really communicated that with you, then it might have brought in some fear up for you. There is a, 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 a possibility for growth here, though. With the expect powerful changes and fertility, fresh ideas manifest, growth plant your seeds. I think that you're, giving, you're being given an, a, an opportunity to manifest something new in this connection plant new seeds for this new moon that's coming up on the fourth right and if it is an eclipse it's going to have extra power behind it and if it's not it doesn't matter because it's the energy that's existing in this connection um we're going to get into the energies of your person judgment this person's being judged like i said it's like they're being resurrected maybe this connection had to die this person's being judged maybe they're judging themselves maybe they're judging themselves but this person is is ready to make a choice The chariot, wow. You guys have been through some obstacles, that's for sure. But the chariot tells me that you guys are going to pull through in the end. This is movement forward towards victory. But 
you've been through the ringer. You know, chariot is like, I just see, you know, um, it, it was a journey. <laughs> you know, you had to fight really hard for this connection. And so, and your person is fighting really hard right now for, um, I feel like this person is judging themselves. They're judging themselves and they're fighting really hard to resurrect themselves. This is someone who's fighting really, really hard to maybe change their old ways of being and seeing and thinking and doing in this connection and in life. Ooh, this is really powerful energy. I mean, that's two major arcanas right there. All right. Now I'm going to get into the energies of you. So I think that you're teaching each other. It's like, I feel like there was, I, think, I feel like there was a fear of abandonment on both sides. There could be, uh, you know, past karmic bonds of, of abandonment. Right, where this connection needed to it needed to die. You all need to, to be alone, feeling left abandoned. Wow. Wow. Okay, so you came out as the seven of swords. You know, the seven of swords, this is your energy right now. I feel like you, your biggest fear is, is, being, is of being deceived. You fear being deceived so much that this person probably deceived you, okay? Because you manifested that. And I know people don't like to hear that. You might be in denial over it. <laughs> If I could pick this up. You might be in denial over the fact that you manifested this person to lie to you. But because you were in such unnecessary fear, thinking this person was going to deceive you, this person ended up deceiving you. Um, but look at here. Judgment for the second time. Okay, judgment came out. This is what is blocking you at this moment. Divine timing. Judgment is literally the divine has this connection in its hands. And when the divine says it's time to rise, you see how it says rise on the bottom there? This union will be resurrected this relationship this connection this love will be resurrected but right now it's in the hands of the divine and i think that that's the lesson here it's being blocked by the divine this connection is being blocked by the divine because there's still a lesson at play you're still in unnecessary fear and look the chariot at the bottom of the deck. So the chariot and judgment came out in two different decks. There's victory here. There's movement, there's victory. The burdens have been put down. There is no more competition. What is needed is self-love. And I think when the lesson of self-love is learned, which is the obstacle, learning how to be victorious in self-love. The divine is within you.
I feel like there was rejection here or somebody felt rejected, but maybe it was also an unnecessary fear, right? There was a fear of abandonment, which was also unnecessary, a fear of rejection, which was also unnecessary. And it is time to change that way of thinking. It's, it's time to change your beliefs and your way of thinking so that you do not continue to manifest shit, loss, abandonment, rejection. These are all things that were manifested by whoever was in fear of them. Like I said, I know people don't like hearing that they are the that they are the ones responsible for their own pain. It's very hard to accept that. Um, but it's a reality that needs to be faced. We cannot be in denial that it does not exist anymore. And until it's, it's faced, until <clears throat> the obstacle, the lesson of, you know, you are already victorious. You already won. Look at this. <laughs> I mean, I just can't even with this right now. The three tarot decks on my table all decided to pull out the chariot card. Look at that. Maybe you see a lot of bald eagles. Maybe bald eagles have been appearing to you lately. Maybe it's your animal totem, your power animal, medicine animal. <clears throat> but this is about victory. You will be victorious. This is a warrior. You and your person are warriors. But this is 100% being guided by spirit. And being healed by spirit. The fact that you guys are hanging on to this wound, the fact that you're hanging on to whatever hurt you is not allowing you to move forward. But if you can heal your inner wounds, your repressed emotions, right? Because the denial is of the emotions that exist. The repressed emotions of abandonment, feeling abandoned, of feeling betrayed, of feeling alone, of feeling. This is someone who's wounded. This is the wounded soldier. This is someone who's wounded. And until you can heal by actually facing these emotions, these deep feelings, these deep-rooted feelings of loss, abandonment, fear, whatever fears, fears of being deceived, fears of being abandoned, betrayed, lied to, as long as those are still open, fresh wounds, divine is going to keep this connection at bay but once this change is made and the self-love heals these wounds and you actually grow from a place of denying your emotions to accepting them and surmounting them look what happens victory in love this is the ace of cups this is your cup overfloweth. This is what's coming to you, fertility. This is new love, maybe a second chance in love. Maybe second chances in love with a past person or second chances in love with a new person. But this is new love, self-love, second chances in love, forgiveness in love. This doesn't have to be your past person coming back. This could be a new person coming in. Whatever it is that you want is what's coming for you.
you will be victorious that's for sure victorious in love in self-love in romantic love emotional love this is your cup overfloweth with self-love so much that you have an untapped source to give to your partner to your loved ones to your friends to your families but first we need to heal self heal those wounds of rejection, the wounds of abandonment, betrayal, deceived, feeling deceived, right? These are the wounds that we need to patch up so that spirit can heal you and bring in your divine counterpart. Wow. Swan spirit, time for a deep dive. This is your person's energy. Whenever I see swans, I always think of twin flames because they're associated with twin flames. Um, oh, wow. Look how beautifully synchronized these cards are. So that card was 60 and this is 26. Flamingo spirit, embrace the in-between. So you are flamingo spirit, embrace the in-between. Yeah, maybe you're feeling at odds right now because you have one foot in spirit, one foot in the material world, and you're like teeter-tottering, right? Um, let go of fear. This is about being able to open your heart to love again. I know that you've been waiting. You've been waiting for your soulmate. You've been waiting for your twin. You've been waiting for this connection. But instead of waiting for your mate to give you love, you need to give yourself love first and step out of fear. Because as long as you're in the frequency of fear, love will not be able to enter your heart. Your heart will remain closed. And so you probably have this feeling of like, you want to open your heart, but then it closes. You want to open it, but then it closes. Open, close, open, close, open, close. And that is because you are in fear. Every time fear comes up, you delete. You delete, you unsubscribe. Your person is on a deep journey. I think they are delving deep through their emotions and um, they will be resurrected in divine timing. There's no denying this connection will be victorious, but you guys have to heal. You both are wounded. You are both wounded. I'll get into the descriptions if I got time. That was the spirit animal deck. The other one was the uh, dark wood tarot. And this is the Starseed Oracle. Breath of the cosmos, my will to thy will, micromanaging the universe. Your person needs to let go of control. And I think that, that they're probably going through a dark night of the soul right now, delving deep. And that's why there, you know, there seems like they, they've had a death of sorts. Um, and they are probably just now finding their own, the own warmth of their own heart, right? That's the journey. But they need to surrender to spirit. They are trying to micromanage uh, like when things happen, how things go down. Like maybe this person was just like, you know, had a list of things they needed in order to be able to actually give themselves to a partner in love. You know, like micromanaging the universe. Portal doors opening you decide rewards wild card you are walking through the threshold look you're looking at it you just need to decide to step through the doors are opening to this connection will you walk through Will you stop micromanaging? Will your person stop micromanaging? Stop trying to control when and how and who and whatever. What? What are we doing here, guys? Are we going to... Definitely needs to be a decision. 
All right. So we got Hummingbird. Release what you've been carrying and lighten up. New joy is on the way. Hummingbirds are all about love, joy, happiness, infinity. Number 44. Four directions. Oh my goodness gracious. So Hummingbird Feather, Owl Feather, which has been just dominating my backyard as of the entire week. Your intuition is correct. Follow your inner wisdom without fail. Your intuition is telling you what's going on in this connection. Follow your intuition, not your ego. Follow your heart, not your head. And then Eagle, another one that has been dominating the past couple days as well. I saw one literally yesterday. And then at the beginning of the week, I saw two right back to back. You are learning all aspects of spiritual connection and reaching new heights. You are flying alongside with spirit. You and your person, this connection is guided by spirit. I mean, there's another synchronicity there. Two bald eagles appearing here. Um, and then we have crow as well showing up. Crow spirit, swan and flamingo. I mean, this is just, this is a, this is change. Owls bring change. Let's see what the new moon eclipse wants to say. It says, if you want affirmation that you can achieve your dreams and get the desired outcome in the situation you're asking about, then this is it. This is a card of beginnings and there are powerful energies at work, but be prepared. It could be quite a ride and events now could even be jarring and uncomfortable. However, any new directions you take will almost always lead somewhere better than where you are at the moment. Whatever is happening now is happening for a reason and you'll appreciate it later on. A new portal. is opening up and all you have to do is have the courage to forget about the past and move through it. You're being put back on the right path. There is nothing to fear. I love how synchronistic this freaking read is. Never mind the past, life evolves every single day. So those of you who are holding on to a past lover that is like literally dead and gone, let it go. You've got a new love coming in, okay? Yes, yes, and a thousand times yes. You're being shunted towards your life purpose. Whatever is happening now is happening for your highest good. So if that is closing out, close it out with trust that spirit has a new love that is divinely suited for you in store for you. This is an important turning point in your life. It says, new moon eclipses are among the most exciting astrological events. They herald a complete change of pace. It's, though, it's as though you're headed in one direction of pace. Wait. It's as though you're headed in one direction, probably being guided by your ego. And then here comes the divine. Boom. Divine timing and the judgment card, which what came up like freaking anyways <sighs> so many times the goddess or spirit to turn you instead to face the direction you actually need to go regardless of whether or not there's a new moon eclipse happening when you pull this card it's a powerful affirmation and pause of positive turnarounds which is pretty much what this card is saying it's like stop trying to control this divine timing is at play wow y'all um, I do want to read from the Halloween hearth and graveyard real quick. <clears throat> the hearth of every home, the fire that unites, winter's warmth centers, stories, love, and delights. That's swag, y'all. It says, should hearth appear in your divination... You are being asked to look to your idea of what home and family is for you. 
Take the time to build up your love fire and have it burning brightly. Make your relationships a priority. This is for your person. If there is conflict within your home and family, it is time to take concrete steps to address the issue for good. If you are a member, if you or a member of your family is away from home due to travel or work, know that protection is being given. Your person is being protected. They will come back to you. Your person is temporarily away. Now, if this is an ending of a connection, this is not about holding on to that person. This is about letting go of that person because divine timing is bringing in a new love for you with this Ace of Cups, okay? If you've been alone, your new person is headed your way. The Chariot, the Judgment card, the Ace of Cups. You may feel an instant connection with this person because they may, there may be a so, deep soul bond, past life connection with this person that they will feel like you've known them for quite some time. But this is about possibly having been in a separated connection with a past person that is closing out, needing to let go of that person, new love is coming in. If you're in a temporary separation because you guys are long distance right now, know that there will be victory. This person is coming overseas to see you. Graveyard. Graveyard and Hearth were right next to each other. Interesting. And I, you saw how many times I shuffled. The stones they mark the eternal resting place, yet the spirits they are walking and they are ready for the chase. Pull this card and know that you fear unnecessarily. Things are not as they seem and you can overcome your obstacles. That's what the chariot card is all about, overcoming obstacles, vic being victorious and overcoming your obstacles. And it came up three times, y'all. Things are not as they seem and you can overcome your obstacles. The anxieties you have, although real, should be put aside before they haunt you long term. Instead, trust that you know the correct next steps and that you will act upon them. Spirit is guiding this connection. You are in good hands, okay? Now, for those of you who are dealing with maybe somebody who is not with you right now, but it's just temporary and you know it's just temporary, I'm gonna give you messages, but this is not from a person that like needs to be said goodbye to, okay? I still feel your energy around me. I never believed in these things before I do now. I'm still trying to find a place for myself in the world. Didn't I say that? There's still hope for us if you can take me back. Can you forgive and forget? So for some of you, like I said, this is just a temporary break. Maybe somebody, you know, you guys are like in an argument or you guys are in a long distance relationship and something happened, whatever. Um, fit yourself in where it may. Um, but there's victory, portals are opening, doors are opening, there is a new opportunity, a new opportunity in love or in an existing connection that may have temporarily been put to rest. I'm gonna let you guys decide on that one. Whichever it is, you will be victorious in love. Sending you lots of love and light. Until next time, happy Halloween. Mm-hmm. <laughs>